platoon going around all through the city. 50 pianos now on display, and it's an arts movement that's returned for another year. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor shows us how they blend right in in the big city. The horns, sirens, and chaos, the usual soundtrack of Times Square. Somehow with this, seems to fade away. It was a very nice feeling. Not an easy thing to do, block all of this out. But at the crossroads of the world, we found that music really is the universal language. I live in Mexico. It's a Persian song uh, called John and Maria, uh, which is a like old uh, Iranian song. So what's striking a chord with so many here? Music is usually seen as something that's really inaccessible, so we put it right at their fingertips. 50 pianos securely placed around all five boroughs by the group Sing for Hope, open to anyone who wants to play. These pianos are all painted by volunteer artists. Uh, they volunteer their time and talent. They spend months and months. Sheet music is readily available, and you may notice names on the keys representing those who donated. Now, don't worry. Even if you don't know how to play the piano, you can come over and just sing along. And if you can't do that either, just enjoy the music. We saw plenty of people doing just that. Yes, I would die for you, baby. But you will do the same. Piano. I was actually just coming out on a lunch break, you know, saw the piano and and now you're smiling. I'm smiling now. The Sing for Hope pianos are the perfect lullaby for the city that never sleeps. Or it just might be a musical awakening. In Times Square, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Now, should it rain, there are tarps to cover the pianos. They'll be out for two weeks after that. They will be donated to schools, hospitals, and other organizations. This is the fourth year for the pianos across the city.